So hi, I'm Sona from A Whole New High and in this video I'll be sharing my first ayahuasca experience. So I'm kind of going to uh, with you go through the experience um, to kind of tell you what it was like personally for me and before I do that I think it's really good to know when we journey with psychedelics um, and any type of plant medicine it's really important to know that every experience is completely different uh, for every person but also each experience is very unique um, so this is maybe give you a idea with what it's going to be like or what it can be like but know that there are so many different options and different ways that the medicine can work and how a journey can unfold um, so it really influences this or influences your experience is really what we call the set and setting. So when it came to the setting um, I felt really safe because I was working with ayahuasca shaman who also worked with mushroom and previously I already had a mushroom ceremony with her and also in the ceremony itself uh, two of my friends were joining who I really feel safe and comfortable with expressing myself and uh, we also talk really openly about emotions and different experiences that we went through um, and the setting was really nice. It was in the jungle in Costa Rica uh, at the shaman's home um, Which is a really lovely home with beautiful artwork decoration um, Everywhere uh, which created a really beautiful space and it was also an open space So you were also able to go outside and see nature um, which can also add another healing element to it and when it came to intention my intention for the ceremony was to feel safe being who I am because a, week, a few weeks beforehand I kind of became aware that I never felt quite safe being myself so I noticed that uh, a lot of times I would hold myself back from expressing myself fully and that it also created social anxiety for me um, talking about myself, talking about what I do and yeah, uh, which prevented me from being more open with friends and family and feeling more open to express myself fully. So before the start of the ceremony we came together in a circle to share our intentions and to open up the space in a ceremonial way and um, then shortly after um, the shaman prepared the ayahuasca and we all received our cup um, well ayahuasca doesn't taste that great but actually i to be honest i expected it to be worse because over the last couple of years i've done a lot of research research about ayahuasca and also heard a lot of people's experiences from friends and also my research online and uh, reading and everyone kind of said like that it tastes horrible and um, so when, when I tasted it I was very happy when I finished my cup but still it wasn't that bad it wasn't as bad as I expected it's more kind of like this thick vine um, and yeah it has this very particular taste i don't know anything that tastes like it um and so yeah so after we all taken the medicine uh, she started playing the music and we all went more into kind of a meditative state um so because it takes a little while for the medicine to start working um I think it probably took around 30 minutes or something like that but I my perception of time is not that great so especially not a medicine but um, so yeah so the beginning of my journey was really soft and gentle so I was kind of going into this meditative state and I was flying to different places and getting more wisdom and insights and then I had this moment where I thought, is this it? Like, is this going to be that light? And then shortly after, um, the medicine came on really strongly. So for me, it really felt like it was really entering my body and spreading all the way throughout my body, kind of really taking over my body and my mind and everything. So that was extremely intense, um, a lot more 
intense enough experience with any other medicine before. Um, so that was something different. So I decided to more breathe through it and allow the medicine to spread and to surrender to that experience. And in the beginning it was a little bit difficult because I could be a little bit in my head a little bit too much. So I would go a little bit more into the narrator or the judge of my experience instead of really allowing myself to experience. So then the medicine guided me, I was told me that uh, I needed to, whenever I felt I was really going into that storytelling narrative that can be really kind of like judging my experience and kind of take me out of the experience that then I need to become aware of it and guide myself back into my body and allow myself to be the experiencer of my journey and of the present moment. So I did that over and over again and then I slowly, I slowly started to reprogram my mind also a little bit and then I was really able to surrender to the experience more and where ayahuasca wanted to take me. And it first took me to the moment of my birth and from that point, it basically showed me all the, all these different moments where it was painful for me to be myself. So when I so all these moments where I received basically like negative consequences for being myself fully, and it showed me also that a lot of these negative consequences were that either people start to envy me when I was really kind of completely being myself and really being really expressive or that um, people kind of pushed me away or rejected me uh, for showing expressing certain parts of myself and I really experienced that pain and also the pain of people clinging on or wanting something from you and really needing you not being able to let you go to be yourself so people kind of keeping you small um, because they need and want something from you. So I experienced all these di different moments which became really emotional. So I started to cry a lot until the point where I was crying so much I needed to sit up otherwise I wouldn't be able to breathe properly. So I think I even cried really loudly, which is not something I normally do. Normally I cry real quietly, but now it was like, like really loud, really expressive. And then at some point the shaman also came over to give me some tissues because I, everything was clogged and there were so many tears going. And at some point um, it kind of passed, so the big wave kind of went away again. And then I laid down again and allow myself to kind of transition into another part of my journey. Um, so, because at that point, shortly after I laid down again, um, the medicine became really, really intense. So the ayahuasca was taking over my body, like I said before, but then even more strongly until the point where even my it wasn't just flowing all the way through my body, but it was kind of even dissolving my body. So I, I felt taken into the earth by the medicine and I was becoming one with the ground. So I felt my body, like my flesh, I felt it completely dissolving into the ground. And so I kind of became one with the earth, which was actually a really beautiful grounding experience for me. And what then happened is that I, and it was very intuitive, I intuitively and kind of saw in my mind as well, there was this skeleton underneath me. And this, this skeleton was an old part of me that died. And then I was told me you're going to go through this cycle of death and rebirth again, so you're going to die. And I intuitively knew that it was me, my skeleton in the ground. So Ayahuasca took me to this burial ritual. So I was buried into the earth and becoming one and completely dissolving uh, my ego and myself. 
until there was a moment where there was just nothing. So I was just one with the earth, one with everything and I was going through that cycle of life. And yeah, so and then I was took me through the process of birth and it told me that birth is this very long, deep in-depth process. And it felt, I remember it feeling like it was going on forever. Like I was for a long time in the nothingness and then I was like, does it take like birth, does it take that long? And then I was like, yeah, yes, birth takes a very long time. And then we had this very long curve of conversation. It was like me and a medicine speaking and it was explaining me things about life and death and um, it was giving me a new perspective and it also felt like it was kind of talking me through the process, like guiding me through the process like a midwife, so to speak. And then there came a moment where it became extremely intense again. And then I even felt like the medicine come up a little bit and it became more and more and more intense until the point where I was like, I, all I can do is just focus on my breathing and breathing through it because holy shit, like this is like a whole other thing and um, so I just breathe through it, breathe through it because I was like as long as I'm breathing I'm going to get through this um, and I did but at, then I did feel called to get up because I felt like really the medicine come up so I remember walking really fast through the plants and then the medicine came up so I threw up over the plants and um, it wasn't actually that much that needed to come out that's why at the time it didn't really feel like it was going through purging which a lot of times with ayahuasca when you um, basically you have to throw up a lot and it's kind of like a cleansing and purging of your system it didn't really feel like that to me because it was quite short it was just a little bit of the medicine coming up and um, then actually later I was told me like I just wanted to get your ass in nature and it was the fastest way to get you there I was like okay <laughs> I kind of thought it was funny and but while I was actually going through that so just shortly after I threw up it felt like I was like a baby being born into the world and I was like so completely overwhelmed by all the stimuli so all the stimuli that were coming in and everything so every sound smell touch and taste like everything was kind of coming and swirling around me and I was like I need to hold on to something so I hold on to like these rocks that were near the plants and just hold on to them like just breathing through it and then at some point um, also what came up was actually a part of me that felt really afraid and it felt really unsafe and it was really scared and it was like a part I think that I previously suppressed within my subconscious and that ayahuasca opened me up for that part of me that I completely forgotten to come out again and then shortly after that um, the, the shaman came over and she took me on this very short little walk around this tree and then for a moment I was just connecting with nature so touching the tree bark and touching the leaves and um, connecting with nature and I felt myself grounding a little bit more um, but still I felt really unsafe so then she took me to this place very near the ceremonial place so I could still see that and we were sitting on the grass and I felt like my body being really restless and shaking and I just felt like this really scared um, little girl um, I felt like yeah I, I think I was probably like five six years old like when I came to the consciousness and um, I feel just really this scared little girl. It's like I don't know what to do and I don't know what's going on and it feels just overwhelmed by life and everything and then the shaman repeated to me and she told me um, you are safe here you are safe and 
um, you were safe and Mother Earth loves you. And she kind of repeated that a few times. And then I started to feel that sense of safety uh, kind of enter my body. And then I also, whenever it really got overwhelming, I just hold on to the grass and to the soil and I just put my hands there. And I could feel myself ground more deeply so that the restlessness within me came more to a point of grounding and a point of stillness. And yeah, so I just sat on the grass for a while with a shaman and at some point she left and I decided to stay because I really loved that grounding energy of nature and um, then Mother Earth kind of started to communicate with me and tell me um, that I'm safe here and that um, also that she told me you belong to the earth and nothing and no one else and that also gave me this sense of safety more the sense of safety that I can be myself and um, I don't owe myself to anyone or anything and then I closed my eyes again and continued to ground more and more um, and then I went on a very long philosophical journey where Ayahuasca was basically teaching me about a lot of these philosophical concepts that I already know and because I really love philosophy so it also really sparked that love for philosophy again and it explained to me that our sense of not feeling safe within ourselves also comes from a disconnection with nature and we went really deep into the concepts of alienation so how we now live in a world where basically most of us or all of us depending on your perspective um, we are alienated from our nature from nature itself and from our own true nature our true authentic self and also alienated from each other and then we went really deep into the concept of where that's coming from and uh, how we can free ourselves from that by creating an inner sense of safety within ourselves. Um, so then that philosophical journey uh, continued and it gave me a lot of realizations about more about humanity but also about myself as an individual and how I can create more safety in my life and it reminded me of that already since I was a very little girl I would always go and hide in nature whenever I felt unsafe or whenever I I felt overwhelmed by life I would just go and spend time in nature so that's the number one thing I also afterward took from my journey and that I still do whenever I now feel unsafe or overwhelmed or stressed or anxious or whatever it is to just go for a walk and spend some time in nature so I to the end of my journey was more reflective and I went back to the ceremonial space and I reflected back on my insights and I also did some writing um, so yeah so this was kind of my very long in-depth journey um, it can be difficult to put it into words and to fully explain it because a lot has happened but I feel like I kind of explained the core of what happened to you and um, I hope you enjoyed listening to it and um, yeah so if you also had an experience with ayahuasca yourself and you may maybe want to share a few things about that um, feel free to post it in the comments below and also if you have questions about my experience or any other type of questions please feel free to post it down below and we would love to answer it for you and yeah um, I really hope that you enjoyed watching and listening to this video and so I really want to thank you for that and if you want to see more of our videos in the future um, about using uh, psychedelics and plant medicine in a very conscious way um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and yeah then you'll see more from us next time and for now thank you very much and I want to wish you a beautiful day bye